always searching for a family. Until we found each other. Are you ready? For one last ride? Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Alright, so Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the third installment of the Guardians films. Um, it continues the story of our favorite characters, I guess, of Star-Lord, Groot, Rocket, Drax, Gamora, and uh, some other characters as well, Mantis. Um, so this movie is a little more about Rocket. It kind of gets into his life story, how he became who he was, and, and it's about his kind of creator who wants Rocket because he wants to create the perfect being. It kind of reminded me of like a Dr. Frankenstein, because who's, real, who's the real monster? Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster? And the obvious answer is Frankenstein because Frankenstein's monster didn't choose to live. He didn't choose to be the who he wanted to be. Frankenstein's the one that goes, he's alive! And that's kind of what this is. So it was kind of interesting to see that angle of Rocket's uh, story in this uh, movie. Um, you know, other things going on. I mean, Gamora, she's kind of a, she's, she's kind of bitchy in the movie. She's, she's not the same Gamora that we saw in the first two Guardians. I mean, uh, uh, her life was changed dramatically whenever she got pulled into the new time stream. Even though one day I just do not go one of my one of my first one of my first big nitpicks, and I don't know if this is really a nitpick, is this Gamora gets pulled in out right before the Guardians of the Galaxy story in Avengers Endgame. So so for her character to be so dramatically different just because of because she was going to portray the animal, she was going to do all this uh, stuff, but she didn't really get a chance to do it. So, I mean, sure. I mean, uh, I didn't really like the. I didn't really like what they did with the Gamora character in this uh, in this film. Um, I. Uh, it was interesting seeing a Star Lord, and I, I liked the where the story ends. I thought the action was fun. There was just some. Some of it was just. I felt a lot of it was kind of stupid and just kind of. Sometimes it's kind of it felt like kind of like George Lucas. It's like visual noise to distract you from what's actually going on in the plot. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I'm not, I, I'm I sound a lot a really negative, but I mean I I liked I liked the majority of the film. Um, like I said, the, it was cool seeing the rocket story. It tries to it's it, it just it's not as fun as the first Guardians movie. And the second, it's better than the second one, but even the second one had moments of being fun. This one didn't really feel fun to me, and maybe that's a big problem. I mean, the soundtrack was great, because my big complaint of the second one was the soundtrack was nowhere near as good as the first one. Uh, but the third soundtrack was really great. They mixed in of old classic songs, 90s rock, to today's music was great. So overall, guys, I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I'm still on a downward spiral with Marvel, and luckily I got a good, good time, good way break. Maybe I'll be able to watch some other stuff and uh, not even think about Marvel for a while. But I'm still on a downward spiral with Marvel. This was definitely better than Ant Man and uh, Quantum Medium. So I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 an A. Minus. So guys, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and tell your friends about using the nation. All too easy. Guys.